Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14 home screen widgets. Of course, one of the best features added to iOS in the recent years. There are a lot of new features with the widgets on the home screen, but of course they lack a few features like you can not really interact with them or do more stuff. You just basically open the app from there but hopefully that will be fixed and more features will be added in the future but still there are a lot of hidden features and tricks that you will be able to find when adding and using iOS 14 home screen widgets so in this video I will show you guys more than 10 hidden features and tricks of the iOS 14 home screen widgets Starting things off with the notes app. Now, when you go to add a widget for your notes app, you will notice there are four different widgets. You will have the three sizes, small, medium, and big, and they all say here folder. Now, what they do is display a folder of notes, but there's another one, the fourth one, which is the small one, and it says note. Basically, this allows to show any note you want on the home screen. You will notice here a difference once you go to the home screen and you have added two small widgets from the notes app you will notice these are different widgets this one has right there an icon for the folder and that one doesn't so if you go ahead and 3d touch on this and go to edit widget then it allows you to show any folder of notes that you have right there on that widget but the other one allows you to display any note you want so you go ahead 3d touch there tap the little edit button and then you can go ahead and choose here which note you want to see there so just tap like that and you will have there a note displaying on that widget now what you have to do here is just go ahead tap that one and it will take you to that note or tap this one and it will take you to that folder so that's the difference on different widgets on the notes app so you get one for the folders and one to display any note that you want a very useful widget is the Siri suggested apps. When you add it to the home screen of your device, you will notice there are eight apps that will dynamically change based of course on Siri suggested apps. That of course is based on apps that you use frequently and you use the most on your device. But if you don't wanna see one of the apps there, then what you can do is just go ahead and 3D touch on the icon of that app. And from here, you will get an option to don't suggest that app. So you just tap right there don't suggest that app and you can see right here it will be replaced with another app now this will dynamically change of course other apps will be added as you can see here but that app won't be displayed there anymore so anytime you see an app that you don't want to be suggested then you can do that from there another thing here siri suggestions so if you add that home screen widget you will notice their suggestions from siri for different shortcuts here i can go ahead and quickly search on twitter for example but if you don't want to see something there again you just go ahead 3d touch on that shortcut that you don't want Siri to suggest and then you can go ahead and tap right there suggest shortcut less so Siri will basically never or very rarely suggest you that shortcut that of course is very very useful so you can just basically make these dynamic widgets the way you like now one of the coolest features of the widgets on the home screen of your iOS 14 device is the ability to create stacks of widgets so you don't have to have the widgets all on the screen here you can have all of them stacked in one place so if we have like the clock here you can see i don't have to have two different clocks i can just go ahead and stack them right here and then of course i will have the ability to have two different cities on each of the clocks so you go ahead 3d touch on the stack right there and you will get now two options you will get an option to edit the clock and edit the stack now if you go to edit stack of course you will be able to edit the current stack or if you go to edit clock you can basically go ahead and edit the current clock that you're displaying so edit clock and i can go ahead and change the city right here so if i go ahead and add another city here you can see that now i will have two different cities in one stack so i can switch between the cities so each of the clocks that you want to edit change their location of course you just go ahead move to that one and tap on the edit clock button now the same goes for the medium size widget for the clock app you will have there four different cities you can of course go ahead 3d touch here and you can go to edit widget if you go to edit widget you can see here you have the option to rearrange them but you can also tap on any of them and go ahead and change the location 
right there so if you just want to change any of the locations just tap on each city that you want to change so you will have the list of cities you tap anywhere you want to change and that of course will be changed and updated on the widget of the clock app now of course the same can be done with the weather app as well if you want to have a stack of weather widgets you can do that very easily you add widgets to the home screen and basically stack them and now you can have different cities on different ones so here we have two of them in new york i can go ahead three to touch here and tap on edit weather so we'll have again edit stack and edit weather right here tap on location and i can go ahead and choose any location i want and now i can have a bunch of cities here all in one stack and i can quickly go ahead and move through them to check of course the weather on that city it will be that easy to go ahead and create beautiful stacks with different cities so you don't have to have multiple widgets for the same app on the home screen of your ios 14 device now if you have a smart stack on the home screen of your ios 14 device you can of course move through them and actually go ahead and edit each of them individually now once you're on one of the widgets all you have to do is just go ahead and 3D touch on it and you will get the action as this widget was alone so even though it's on the stack you can still perform the same actions you do when the widget is by itself on the home screen of your device so here i have on the smart stack i have serious suggestions and i can go ahead and still perform the same action i would if this was by itself on the home screen of my device the iOS 14 home screen widgets of course are very popular and not a lot of people are using right here the widget panel on the left side of the home screen of your device. Did you know that you can actually quickly move any one of your widgets to that panel so if I'm here on the home screen I want to remove this I want to place it on the panel right there just drag it like this just go ahead and drag it up here and you will be able to place it on the widget panel as easy as that you can move the widget from the home screen or if you have widgets here that you don't want them here you want them to be displayed on the home screen of your device you just go ahead and of course pick them up and just drag them just like you do on an app to move it between different pages you go ahead and move it to the home screen of your device and you can place it anywhere you want when you're on the widgets panel and you want to add a widget you will see here the dots now these have the same function as the dots on the home screen of your ios 14 device if you want to quickly move you can see here we have widget and it has a lot of widgets if i want to quickly move there i can go ahead and just swipe on the dots right here and it will basically have the same function as it does on the home screen of your device so quickly move between different widgets right here using the dots that will be displayed right here on the widget panel so of course just tap like that and quickly move between different widgets right here on the widget panel another cool thing is that when adding a widget if i go ahead and tap to add this right here it will just place it automatically there so anytime you add a new widget it will just put it at the top right there but there is a trick to place it anywhere you want by simply just putting the widget on the home screen it will just place it as i said automatically at the top and you might not want to do that it will rearrange your icons and all that what you have to do once you go to the widgets panel and you want to add one of the widgets just tap and hold on it you can see it will pop up a bit and just drag it down and now you have the ability to place it anywhere you want on the home screen of your ios 14 device so just move it around and just release it anywhere you want this is how easily you can edit your widgets and place it anywhere you want on the home screen of your iphone so that is it for this video guys these are some of the best tips tricks and hidden features that you should know regarding the ios 14 home screen widgets of course it's a long way to go before these widgets are actually very very useful they're kind of cool some of them are useful will let you get to your files to your apps very quickly but of course they lack a lot of features hopefully in the near future apple will add them to ios hopefully with ios 15 so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one